medical experts are warning U.S. sanctions on Iran are threatening the health of Iranian patients reliant on imported medicines. The Financial Times reports U.S. restrictions have led to shortages of vital supplies and medications for cancer patients, as well as those being treated for disorders, including hemophilia and multiple sclerosis, um, as well as others awaiting transplants and kidney dialysis. The parents of an eight-year-old boy suffering from severe hemophilia say their son is at risk of losing his right leg because the U.S.-made treatment is no longer available in sufficient quantities. The Iranian Hemophilia Society says one young man has already died because his treatment was no longer available. The group's president, Ahmed Gavidel, said, quote, this is a blatant hostage taking of the most vulnerable people by countries which claim they care about human rights. At the Democratic National Convention here in Charlotte, former Congress member Robert Wexler bragged of the crippling U.S. sanctions on Iran under President Obama. To the president's strong leadership, Iran is more isolated than ever. He has marshaled the international community to impose the most crippling sanctions in history. Iran's oil exports have plummeted, and its currency value has been slashed in half.